taking a few deep breaths. Acclimating to your breath as well so that we are able to connect our energies. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How is everything going in life? I know we just started a new year. How are you feeling about that? I'm excited. Oh yeah? So the new year, as long as the, my family and loved ones are safe and healthy, that's all that matters. I love that. And how has your mental health been? Much better. That's good, because I know you've had a lot of anxiety over the past, uh, last year, mm-hmm. but you've done a lot of work on yourself to help to better cope with your anxiety and find meaning in it as well, yeah. which is really amazing to see. Today I wanted to do a bit of a meditation with you and some gua sha, a scalp check, scalp massage, as well as an upper back and shoulder massage, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right. What kind of roll-on remedy would you like today? Head cold. Okay. I think that's the first time anyone's ever chosen this one. Head cold has pine, citrus, tea tree, frankincense, and lavender. I really like that pine smell. In fact, why don't we start our meditation with this? What you're going to do is take a deep breath in and out. One more. And out. And one more. This is what's called a sage breath. It's a form of aromatherapy. It'll just help us to ground and relax for the remainder of our massage. Just going to get a bit of a massage away.
And we're going to work deeper into those trapezius muscles. Just kneading them out. pressure with my arms. This way we can really focus on your neck a bit more. I want you to kind of lean your head this way, good, and just doing some finger kneading on the side. So we're massaging the upper traps, but also the scalenes and the sternocleidomastoid in the front. The sternocleidomastoid runs from the, the clavicle over here to the sternum and it goes all the way up to the mastoid process. I'm just going to go really gentle and then also the other. side. Just a bit of traction up. Good. All right. You can relax your head back just like that. Good. Now, here we're going to work a little bit more on these traps. 
meeting them again. And then again, finding that peak, and we're just going to apply some acupressure, okay? Now it's going to feel a bit tense. Let's take a few deep breaths here. One more. And release. Good. All right. I also want to do a bit of massage in the upper pectoral region. So again, you can just like your head back onto me. And just a little bit of massage right here. Opening up that chest. squeeze the scapulae together sometimes just to improve our posture especially when we're sitting at the desk and then I'm just massaging the, the humerus right here this is where we have the uh, origin of the sits muscles so I believe they stand for supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres major, and subscapularis. So they all insert, I mean originate, right here and it can get kind of tense here sometimes so you can just kind of massage it a little bit. And down. Um, And of course, the deltoids just sort of cup them. Good. All right. Let's massage the masseter muscle right here. Just loosen it so that when you go to bed you will find that you won't have to clench your teeth as much or grind your teeth as much. Just relax. Drop your jaw. Good. And then moving up to the Temporomandibular Well, the temporomandibular joint is here And the temporalis Okay Alright I have this piece of selenite and I was inspired by idea to get this. It's a very cleansing um, crystal and I like it when she kind of 
uses it at the crown like this. And I always feel tingles as soon as she picks up this. kind of smoothing around the silhouette like this, just kind of with the intention of cleansing your energy. When you pick up a crystal, it's important to speak your intention into it. So in this case, I'm just setting the intention that I'm creating an atmosphere of relaxation, clarity for you. And that's it. It's all about intention. Your aura is thoroughly cleansed. And now we will proceed with a scalp check. So at this part of the massage, or the relaxation experience, I invite you to allow the sensation of these needles to be your object of meditation. What I mean by that is, always come back to these, this sensation the needles running along your scalp and when thoughts come and of course they will come you simply watch them and let them be there's no need to follow it you can label them as thinking and then come back to the present moment back to the sensation of these needles Truthfully, any of your senses can be used as the object of your meditation. Whether it's physical sensation, or sound, or taste, sight, smell. Anything at all. Maybe the feeling of gravity on your body. Perhaps it's movement and proprioception. These are all ways to ground ourselves back into the present moment. 
where life happens. I've been reading this book, How to Meditate by Pima Children, and it's been life changing for me. One of my favorite things that she talks about is the concept of loving kindness, also known as Maitri. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. To make friends with your mind, to be gentle and compassionate. Because oftentimes we have intrusive thoughts that we don't like. Maybe they're downright evil and we mistaken it to be us. But we don't have to identify with those thoughts. We can learn to accept them, observe them, be kind to them, and come back to ourselves. We don't need to judge ourselves. Okay. We're going to spray some of this stress release spray. And feel you tensing up right here. Let's try to relax as much as we can.
I'm just moving along the governing vessel channel all the way down. A wonderful channel for calming the mind. Sorry, I messed up your hair again. Now we're going to do some gua sha. And I'm going to use some Skin So Smooth Nourishing Body Bar by Sing. We do want some hydration and a bit of oil to aid us in our gua sha. I'm going to use this tool right here. And I'm just working down the trapezius. And gua sha is traditionally used to relieve muscle pain and tension. It can break down scar tissue and connective tissue that has been sort of clumped up together. But in traditional Chinese medicine, it can help with blood stagnation and qi stagnation. which are the root causes of pain. It also just tends to feel really nice. break to that side. Are you feeling any pain more in certain spots? No. Okay. Now 
I don't see, um, even though I'm pressing pretty hard, I don't see much bruising or what we call petechiae, which is a good sign. When we have more of that, it kind of shows that there's more blood stagnation in the area. And when I say blood stagnation, don't get scared. It's just the traditional Chinese medicine term. It's not equivalent to the Western. A little painful right there at the top. Mm, a little bit. I can feel you tensing up when I go over that. Okay. One more time here, and then we can move on to some really gentle um, facial gua sha. Now this is a rose quartz gua sha tool that Adia left last time she was here, late October, and uh, we haven't seen her since. <laughs> so, thank you, Adia. Just being very gentle. This is more cosmetic. be like lymphatic massage because we're being so gentle and staying on the surface and then working down into the lymph nodes down here in the cervical chain and then the scapular ones as well. I mean the clavicular, sorry. Move to drain. Just very lightly down the neck. Okay, you're gonna wake up extra beautiful tomorrow. this off with just a short meditation. I have here the book 
How to Meditate by Pima Children. And there is a page I'd like to read. It's an exercise called Touching In with a Present Moment. What are you feeling? Can you contact what you're feeling? It could be your mood or your physical body, the quality of drowsiness or peacefulness, agitation or physical pain, anything. Can you contact that non-verbally and just get a sense of what you're feeling? Are there any emotions? Can you be present to them? Can you contact them? We're not talking about having to name anything or remembering the history of the emotion or anything like that. Just be present to what you're feeling right now. Are you experiencing any physical sensations right now? Pain? Tightness? Relaxation? And what about your thoughts? What is the quality of your thoughts right now? Is your mind very busy? Is it quite drowsy? Is it surprisingly still? Are your thoughts raging or peaceful or dull? If I were to ask you personally right now, what is the quality of your mind at this moment? Whether it's still or wild or dull, whatever it might be, what would you say? These questions can be a good starting place for launching into your meditation practice just by noticing the feelings the emotions, and the quality of your mind without the need to judge. Sometimes when we meditate, we worry about how we're not having a good meditation and how we should be doing better, but there's no need. All you need to do is relax and accept whatever comes. you take a deep breath with me and breathe out one more and breathe out Thank you very much for joining me today.